Yo, gents and lasses, it's been a hot minute. Hope you're good today. Hope you are enjoying the reality of salvation. Seriously. Someone asked me this morning, I stepped in the church office, probably 9, 8.39, and uh, one of the interns popped out. I said, oh, Austin, how are you? I said, oh, you know, I'm saved. And then I didn't realize all the other interns were like right in the office next to me, and they all started laughing. But really, it's putting courage in people because the reality of my situation is that Jesus is on the throne and he's with me. <laughs> Let's go. Anyways, hope you are getting a little bit of that today. Hey, I think it's day 10 of this press on, maybe day 11. And just want to give you a quick update. Uh, even just this morning, you know, uh, with the press on, there's three things, man. Meet with God every day, pray every day, but then love somebody on purpose every day. And, uh, one of the things I'm trying to do is encourage one, two, three people every morning. Maybe it's email, Voxer, text, phone call, whatever. Uh, and so this morning, just got off the Voxer machine, sent out a few boxes. Just really, we're talking five, ten minutes, prayed for some of my friends. And it's shocking how easy it is and how I get God's heart for people when all I do is take some intentionality and yield to the Holy Spirit and say, okay, what are you praying right now for these guys? And I just agree with it. And then I text them and tell them. So anyways, want to encourage you, if you haven't been jumping on this press on, man, press on. We're, we're, we're doing this thing for 50 days, really finishing out this 2020, getting us into 2021 well, because Jesus is on the throne and he's doing some fun stuff and we want to be a part of it. So that's that. I've been praying Ephesians 1 over myself, uh, over my friends, some of my friends. And really trying to share that freely in, in, I think it starts in verse 16, but Paul prays that the eyes of our heart would be enlightened, that we would know the glorious riches for us that are in the saints. And it's like the riches of God are found in his people, sharing life with them. And so think of uh, hey, who is someone that you love sharing life with and how can you go love them today? How can you go do something for the sake of others so that we can participate and enjoy the glorious riches of God that are in the people of God? So anyways, jump on that today. My wife and I are brainstorming of, hey, what are some fun ways we can give some money away to some of our friends? And man, it's just, it's so fun to get to love people and not get caught up in the chaos of the news, the chaos of sin, but like, man, meet with God, be loved on myself encourage somebody else pray for our nation pray for our city so jump in with us we're on day 10 and uh, i'm in ephesians 1 praying that over you today check it out man check it out read the bible do what it says it'll change your life uh anywho enjoy the christmas season youtube we'll see you around the world